Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Sarah's Road and today we are going to be doing a GRWM. Get ready with me. I do a lot of these on my TikTok accounts, but I decided let's lay off on doing them on my TikToks. I actually love making these videos because I like just talking to y'all and like showing y'all what I do to get ready. And I think I'm going to go film today. I'm not very sure, but hopefully I'm going to go do something so I won't just be wasting like sweet precious time and my good outfit today before we get into the video like i always say don't forget to like comment subscribe and share to all of your friends because this is going to be a really good video what reaction videos or what should i react to because i remember doing reaction videos like a year ago but i only did one video and i never did any other ones so i'm gonna come back to that and i'm also gonna do roblox videos so stay 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 tuned for those those are coming very soon i just need some ideas in the comments on what i should react to all right enough of the small talk and the chit chatting before we get into the video this is absolutely fundamental we have to light our candle because it has to smell really good in here and this is a um strawberry pound cake candle i got this when i got my um spray and my lotion like a month ago but it's kind of going out like i will really, i will light it for like overnight and then i will burn it out so that it won't go all the way down and sometimes i won't even be in my room it'll be like lit but um i'm gonna start by brushing my teeth and washing my face and then we're gonna do my hair my makeup and then we're gonna put on my clothes after i brush my teeth wash my face um when i come back after washing my face I will show you guys my skincare and what I use for my skin. So I'll be right back once I go brush my teeth and wash my face. All right guys, so I'm back after washing my face and I just gotta moisturize my face. I know my face is like really, really dry right now. It's the Hydrating Creates a Foam Cleanser by CeraVe. And I just started using this, like I got this about two days ago so i've been using this since yesterday um and it's working really nice for me it really it makes my face feel really clean and i like it you know okay before i got these new stuff i um used to use this these two things i used to use this and i used to use this i will wash this with my face i will clean my face with this and then I will go in afterwards. After putting on a warm towel on my face, letting that soak for about 30 seconds or something. And then I will go in with some Vaseline. But I'm gonna try to lay away from Vaseline, use, like using this on my face because it, it kind of sometimes feel like my face is kind of clogged up a little bit. And I wanted to just try something new with the cleanser. It's not all the way gone. I just wanted to try something new. I've been using this for about the beginning of school like august so for a minute now and i just wanted to give something else a chance and try something new you know so moisturizing um lotion this is for the night time though i didn't really mean to pick up the night version i meant to pick up the the day version but i only use this at night anyway my moisturizer is coconut oil so instead of using vaseline i'm gonna start using um 100 coconut oil also i also used to use shea butter but shea butter felt like my face just it just felt so like cakey and like clogged it, it just felt very thick on my skin and coconut oil one thing about coconut oil it's very thin and light so it doesn't really feel like it feels like oils on your face but it doesn't feel like oil is on your face you know so yeah, and I just get a little bit on the, like I literally just got this too. And I put it in the palm of my feet, hands and I just, I always like put some tension between my, my fingertips so that I can get it oily. Then I just massage my face using it. See how like already it's just like, compared to that, looks really nice. So I forgot to use my witch hazel before adding my um, coconut oil. 
because it says you're supposed to put this on before you put on your moisturizer. So I forgot to put them on with Chaser, but this you this works really nice. It makes your face feel so like cleansed, and it just it just it, it feels like my face is very clean and fresh. And it's I have the scent coconut, I mean um, cucumber. So yeah, it smells really nice. It literally smells exactly like cucumber. I like to take my rose quartz roller and just kind of like go over my face with it. A lot of people don't really know what this is supposed to do, but I read the box when I got it and it says it's supposed to really like kind of help structure your face a little bit and it's to help um, clear up dark circles or bags up under your eyes. And me, I have bags up under my eyes, as you can see. I have, I've just gained them out of nowhere from not getting enough sleep. So I do this for about two minutes and then I just move on. This is the outfit I'm gonna wear today. I'm gonna wear this um, hoodie that I got from Paxson and some skinny jeans. One of my things I don't like wearing, but these aren't really bad skinny jeans. I'll see you guys when I get done changing. All right, this is the fit I'm wearing. This is what it looks like. I like to do it like this. Uh, I'm sorry, it's kind of wrinkly. Today, these are some bands. And yeah, so this. And my Coraline necklace. So yeah. I don't know why a lot of you guys on my last account was asking for a hair tutorial, for a ponytail, for a puff. Why are you asking for a ponytail, for a puff ball hair tutorial? I was so confused. I was like, all I do is use gel and water and I brush it up then I do my edges. Like, I don't know, but here is this tutorial for all the people who wanted it for some reason. Yeah, first, my hair is actually kind of dirty. I'm not even gonna lie, it's really dandruffy right now. Then I go in with my eco gel after putting like a whole bucket of water in my hair. All right, I put my hair up in the ponytail. Sometimes I have like this nub in the back of my head because it's like really nappy back there. And it like, is like a noggin, like a big noggin. So I'm not gonna show you the back of my head, but from the front, it looks really nice. All right, now I'm gonna do my edges. Um, I have this edge brush that I've been using for about, let's count. I don't even know when I got it, but I got it like a long time ago. It wasn't crazy, crazy long time ago, but it was a long time ago. And I just stole this one from my sister. This is like a brand new one. So you could tell the entire, uh, what's that? You could tell the entire difference from both. Like what the heck? But this works so well. Like this one works like, it's like magic or something. I don't know what about it. This edge booster, top tier, literally. I'm not the best at doing my edges. I'm just gonna be straight up. I'm not the best. So yeah, this ooh, my sister would do. So over time, I just, cause they would say, you gotta learn how to do your own hair now. Like you get an older, we not going, ooh, what, what is that that keeps tripping? But yeah, they were like, you're getting older. You're gonna have to learn how to start doing your own hair. And I just, I just felt so hurt. I felt betrayed. Like I never could do my hair and like doing hair on like my dad's side of the family was very like a big thing because one thing, my dad is like a barber and my sisters know how to do hair. Like they just knew how to do it like from the jump. And me, I don't know how to do hair at all. So it was rough trying to learn how to do my hair on my own, but I did get it. I'm still learning and 
but I've gotten a lot better. Like when I get my hair done and then I style it up, that's a whole different thing. But like just doing stuff in my natural hair, it can be a little tricky sometimes because I, I just never was used to doing my natural hair. Just a little background to me. Just a little background. Okay, why do I always do this random British accent? You know what? And I kind of, I'm not bad at it. I'm not mad at it, you know? I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna keep doing my British accent. Okay, so I just did that one there, this one right here, and I don't really like it. So I'm going to use my other brush because it's that brush not really working for me. And I'm gonna use this brush. Um, doing my eyelashes take a little bit of time because um, sometimes they don't look right or they just look weird. So I have to redo them about five times and then I gotta um, take the edge out. I mean the edge, the edge booster out my hair because it will make my hair look a little bit of um just look like a lot of gel was in my hair swoop things right here put this on the side of my face always the side that doesn't want to work for me and it's really irritating because this side will look really nice to me and then this side will look like a total different thing and it doesn't look right so I'm gonna do this off camera because I know it's gonna take a couple of times of doing that, but I'll see you guys when I get done. Do you see what I'm talking about? How this side looks totally different from this heart? Or is it just me? Or is I'm, or, or am I looking at things wrong? Or am I always messing with me? Or is this, does this look like this side to you? No, it does not. Guys, I'm done with the accent because it's messing with my vocabulary. Now I'm going to go do my makeup and show you the products I use because again you guys want to know the products I use well I'm not gonna say everybody but it was some people in the comments that were asking about the um, makeup products that I use or just like little mascara and stuff like that I use and stuff like that why did I say stuff like that twice I think I'm just gonna do a wing look today. Just some liner. That's like. And some mascara, some blush, or some lip tint. Because you already know I don't use blush, I use lip tint. I like to take a spoolie too to go in as I'm putting on my mascara to balance it out. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, hopefully. Go in with this, and I make sure I have a good volume. I'm trying to use words that make makeup artists use, and then I just pick it out, or I just kind of separate each lash with this spoolie, and boom. Now I like to take this black liner and put it up under my top lid. Yeah, and then I put it up under right there. Now I'm going to do my liner and I'm gonna do this off camera because yeah, and I'll be back. All right, my liner is complete, com complete, yeah, and the liner that I use is e.l.f. liner. They're a few dollars. You can get these at Target, Walmart, probably even Dollar Tree. e.l.f. makes some really good liners, so definitely get you one. My lip tint to my cheeks because it's the perfect color for my cheeks. I don't know. I don't. I don't use um what you call it blush. I usually just use lip tint. I haven't used blush in forever because lip tint just do the job for me. Like it's not too much for my cheeks and my skin color. Like it, it's just the perfect little amount, you know? But it speeds on my lips before I put my liner on my lips. Now I'm gonna do my liner and my lip gloss and then I am done. 
I just gotta put the liner around my lips like this. Now I'm just going to add my, oh, oh and this was NK Makeup. Um, this is an eyeliner? I thought this was a lip liner. Anyway, we are gonna add this Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. CoverGirl is coming up right now. Like, their, their lip glosses are, are really good right now. And it smells so good. It smells like sweet, like candy. And boom. I don't even know what palette this is. It says I Heart Revolution Waffle Palette that I got from my sister like three years ago. I have to bite it to open it. So it's, it's really ghetto, but, and it's really crumbly. But it really works well. I think I added a little too much on my inner eye, like my, right here. I think I added a little too much, but we'll be all right. That's it. That's what I do to get ready. And yeah, that's all I really do. Let me take my phone off my tripod. Yeah, this is the final look. It looks really nice. Uh, it's settled, it's not too much. It's a Monday because it's President's Day and we don't have school. So I'm like, you know, we're just gonna be chill today. We're just gonna relax. Um, and just have a chill outfit today. So, ooh, it came out very well. I like it. My makeup came out really nice. And, yeah. Let me know if you guys want more Get Ready With Me's. Because this was actually really fun. And then, yeah. I think I should, I think I should do some more Get Ready With Me. This is really fun. So, let me know down in the comments if I should continue to do this. And like I said in all of my videos, guys, I love you guys. And don't forget to always, 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 always make it your world. Bye.